The Pubs of Hastings and St. Leonard's by David Russell. Read by Abigail Wincott. First in, last out. High Street, Old Town. From 1854 to 1869, a poor beer house was located in Waterloo Passage, a twitten alongside the building which is now the Philo. In the last year, its licence was revoked because the premises were insufficiently rated. Landlord William Oakley said, This is a hard case, especially after I kept it 15 years. The rating was high enough until the rating committee put it down. In the same year, the building, which now houses the Philo, was a corn dealer's run by one Charles Pearson. In 1876, he started selling beer, and by 1880, the premises had been transformed into a beer house. George Crampton took over in 1889 and gave the first in, last out its distinctive name. He remained landlord until 1901, before moving to the newly licensed railway stores, Hewenden Road, near Orr Station. He left the Philo owing money to a local beer wholesaler, which suggests that he didn't brew beer himself at that time. Before the First World War, the Philo ran two very successful slate clubs, one for men and one for women. And the fact it had a female club suggests it had female customers, which was advanced for that time. We know that many pubs were negative about female custom, and in the majority of cases women were not served. The Slate Clubs met regularly to organise sick, unemployment and death benefits for social occasions and dinners. In 1909, for example, the men's Slate had 33 members and paid out £40, one shilling and ninepence in sick pay, £40 in today's money. Twenty years later, the Chief Constable claimed that there were too many pubs in the old town and attempted to close down the Philo. The landlord, Samuel Mepham, was accused of being drunk in charge of the bar and it seemed a foregone conclusion that the pub would close. However, the case was unusual. The landlord had served in France in the First World War and claimed to suffer from neurasthenia, a condition brought about by trench gas in the Somme. He'd also suffered a kick in the head by an army horse and these two things he claimed were the cause of his depression, strange appearance and unusual behaviour. Although he had medical witnesses, the court obviously disbelieved his story and fined him two guineas. This was in July 1929, and by August he'd lost his licence, which was temporarily transferred to a manager of Ballard's Brewery in Lewis. The police then stopped opposing the licence, having no further evidence to offer against renewal, and the life of the Philo continued. This brought the total number of landlords between 1908 and 1929 to eight. The Philo Slate Club was still very active and by then had 58 members, including several men over 50 years of age. A second argument put forward to the magistrates was that if the pub closed, these members would not be able to join any other slate clubs because of their age and would lose their benefits. Philo regulars Arthur Wood, Albert Colbran, George Jackson and George Gallup, among others, appeared as witnesses for both the pub and the slate club. Arthur Wood described the Philo as a nice little house which doesn't pretend to be a gin palace. The Philo was reprieved with a new landlord. In 1933, the Philo applied for a wine licence. The landlord told the magistrates that he was interested in promoting the wines of the British Empire, which was bringing wine within the reach of middle and working classes for the first time. However, a wine licence was refused and the Philo had to wait another 20 years before it could legally sell wine. After 78 years as a beer house, the pub was granted a full licence in 1954. It's been a free house since 1976, having previously been tied to Charrington's Brewery. In 1982, the Philo acquired a milk pump and was the first and only Hastings pub to sell pints of draft milk. Four years later, the St Clement's microbrewery was established on the premises, using four milk pasteurising tanks by landlord David Harding. This was three years after a microbrewery was established at Mr Cherry's on the marina, and the brewery at the Philo is still operating. In 2001, the brewery was updated and modernised, and currently produces Crofter's Best Bitter, Cardinal Sussex Porter, Ginger Tom and Philo Gold Premium Ale, and also occasional special beers for events such as Bonfire Night. The Philos appeared in the Good Beer Guide over several years, 
and has been home to the Hastings branch of the Society for the Preservation of Beers in the Wood. The pub name, first in, last out, possibly comes from the game of cricket, or from the fact that it was, at one time, the last pub before Holton. The pub sign shows a stagecoach. The pub logo displays a silhouette of a cat at night. <laughs>